everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to Topic Time with Harrison Young. Got another great show for you this evening. I uh, got some underwriters. We got to read off, and then we'll get to the show. We got Auto Country, uh, Abington, and Abington King of the Used Car. We got John Greenhouses and Florist Shop in Brockton. We got Closed Clinic Dry Cleaning in e Whitman, rather, where uh, you get Topic Time fans get 10% off. We get What's the Scoop Ice Cream in Randolph, where Topic Time fans also get 10% off. We got Vape Solutions in East Bridgewater. We got Smoke and Ashes Tobacco Company, the corporate office in Abington, at stores and convenient locations in Abington, Hanson Hanover, Pembroke, Weymouth, and Whitman. And we got MDI Auto Brokers and Repair, also in Whitman, home of the fully certified used, used car. And on that note, we will start the show. Okay, uh, again, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Topic Time with Harrison Young. The days are already getting longer. It's uh, Valentine's Day. If you have a loved one and you're into that stuff, I'm not, but happy Valentine's <laughs> Day. Gotta, gotta, you know, gotta, gotta keep the, uh, the circulation going of the people that care about it, so I'm, I'm down with that. But as usual tonight, we are you know, focusing on what really counts in my life, having more great guests on Topic Time, and we sure have one tonight. Uh, gentleman here, he's a local gentleman, an actor. His name is Peter Needham. Hello, how uh, are you? Okay, he's, uh, he's been uh, doing some film acting and whatever else. We're going to talk to him tonight, find out about him. We maybe look at some footage of what he's done. Um, from what I've seen of it, it looks pretty awesome. And uh, that's it. So I um, so wanted to have Peter. We've been trying to get him on as a guest for a while. Now he's finally made the trip. He's not too far away. He um, was in Bridgewater, Mass., I believe, not, you know, a couple of towns away. I'm, I'm in Brockton, so I'm pretty close too. So, Peter, thanks for uh, meeting up with me finally, and the meeting of Topic Time and Peter Needham is happening right now, so I wanted to have you on the show. Well, thank you for having me, Harrison. Gl glad to be here. Okay. All right, well, you're a, you're a very distinguished-looking gentleman. You know, you got the, the, the puff, the, puff uh, the, the uh, really cool-looking, uh, the white, <laughs> the white salt and pepper, whatever, the beard. You, look, you know, you look like the guy who doesn't need the, doesn't need the, uh, what's the Grecian formula because you got, you got it going on. You look like you age, you age wine, fine like a wine or whatever. And from what I understand, you're very talented an actor. So let's talk about how that came to be. You're an actor now, but uh, how did it begin? I like to go back in time with all my guests and find out how they got to where yeah. they are. So no, that's, that's fine. It, it, uh, <clears throat> it happened with um, a change in my life. Okay. Well, I was... My uh, job disappeared, the business went under. That okay. was where I was in IT, and sure. uh, I was laid off. And so I um, signed up for Boston Castings, and I got a phone call. This is the first thing that happened. Okay. I got a phone call that says, you want to be on The Fighter? It was uh, the movie with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, my, yeah wh whatever. Right. Can you make it two nights? Well, anyway, went on that, and when I saw the lights and the cameras and everything, I said, you know what, this stuff is, is really, really cool. So I started looking more into it. I took, I took uh, I'm a professionally trained uh, voice artist right now. I, okay. I train with Jordan Rich and WBZ in wow. Boston. Uh, and I have my own recording studio at home. Okay. And, uh, and speaking of voiceovers, I'm just gonna, you know, right now I'm, I have a very exciting thing developing in New York where I had auditioned for a character in an animation series okay. a year ago and just found out that it is, it's moving into storyboarding and episodes and character development. I should be doing the voiceovers for a very evil, sinister character. Is this, is this an animated series you're yeah. talking about? Yes, it's a wow. pilot right now. But wow. yes, yeah. Now, um, cool. I have a cable TV show in uh, Plymouth Flynn. with my co-host Ann Flynn Dickinson. I know Ann. It's called The Venus and Mars Show okay. in Plymouth. We're in our third year doing that. Uh, we filmed four episodes already this year, and uh, we're starting a, a fifth one next week. Congratulations. Thank you. Yep. And um, I have some personal projects. Well, I've been in about 10 to 12 movies as extras. I've had about six commercials as, as a principal. Okay. That is, I've had lines or whatever. They, you know, they you want to talk about them? I'm I love having people that have, com that have been in commercials, because some <clears> of them I get to see, and they really look, they really look awesome. So you just you know, describe some of the commercials you've been in. 
Yeah, well, one when I was, I played Gordon Gecko in Wall Street. It was for uh, Gecko? You mean one of those, like, not Geico? No, Gordon Gecko. He was, it was Michael Douglas played Gordon Gecko. Oh. I was playing, actually, Michael Douglas in the role of Wall Street. It was okay, Wall sure, Street, sure. movie sure. Wall Street. Big film. And it was for New Hampshire Lottery um, <laughs> commercial, and, cool. and that went well. Um, I had several lines in that. It's probably my favorite commercial. Great. Um, I've done a commercial for the New Hampshire Speedway where okay. I was uh, on the uh, uh, pit stop. Were you one of the drivers? No, I was in the pit, pit stop You were in the pit stop. Yeah, right. Okay. Working with Joey Luang, whatever his name is. That I got you. Yeah. All right. And um, recently I've been working up in New Hampshire. Jesus, it seemed like I've been in New Hampshire a well, while. If well, if you don't remember, that's fine. Yeah, no, no just, just recently with CRG okay. and um, New Fork, North Fork uh, Kitchens and stuff. Okay. I have a... Uh, I'm doing a spoof right now. It's a personal prize. You know the most interesting man in the world, the Dosecki guy that who, who, used to market Dosecki beer? Okay. Stay, yeah. stay, so, stay thirsty, my friends. Did you say Dosecki beer? Yeah. Sounds he, like a Japanese beer, is it? It's a Mexican beer. Mexican, okay. Well, well he was around guess. for years, and he got, they got around. Well, anyway, I'm doing a spoof right now. I'm, I'm, I'm dressed just like him, but I'm the most inspiring man in the okay. world. Okay. So that's wow. what I'm per pushing forward right now. And I've got some small personal radio projects that I'm working That is awesome. So, okay. Because, I mean, it sounds like, I mean, right now everything seems to be coming to fruition for you between your, you know, ho your home sound studio, uh, your voiceovers, you're working with Jordan Rich. I mean, he's, a, he's, you know, he's the night guy on WBZ. I can call Jordan friend. In fact, Jordan and I performed on the stage last year in the same show. That, that's interesting because, yeah. I, I mean, Jordan's a radio guy. I know yeah. that because right. I've listened to his show. I mean, I, I mean, he filled the shoes of, some, of a legend, David Brudnoy, when oh, he yeah. passed the nope. well, I remember him. I used to listen to his show in the evening. And if Jordan ever wants to come on my show as a guest, I'd love to have him. Um, that's, an, that's a show for another day. But the fact that you're working with him and, and that you, I didn't even realize that he was in theater too, correct? So you and him work in a, in a film or? In a, on a live show. On a live show. Yeah, brought, and it, you know what? I got, he blew the socks off me. He is quite talented as an actor. Okay. No, I'm... He, I believe you. He played Norton on The uh, Honeymooners. He did. <laughs> and he well, pulled he, it off. I couldn't say you, you, you couldn't have been Ralph unless you... Unless no, you no, no, no. What, what, what was happening? This is a funny. I, I, I gotta, no, this is funny. Okay, go ahead. I bought tickets to go to the show, yeah. and I'm watching the show. Okay. Halftime, these people come up and go... Halftime? What are you talking about? Was it a football uh, game? No, it's like... It was a... Oh, um, I'm doing It's an old-time radio... Yes, intermission. I got gotcha. uh, the, um, the guy from the Adams Family was on there, too. Oh, wow. Um, uh, uh, Gomez. A Aston? Um, John yeah, Aston? John Aston really? was performing there too. Awesome. What a gentleman he was. Well, anyway, make a yep, long story yep, short. Yep. Intermission, they come up to me and a few other people say, we're looking for a few uh, guys, uh, people that can play. Uh, we need them for a skit. Wow. And before I could say no, my wife says, no, no, he does acting. Next thing you know, the show I've paid to go see, wow. I'm in. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. And uh, so I, I am at uh, Barry Nolan because Barry Nolan was at, him on the show. Barry Nolan friend. was the one that was pulling us all together. Wow. And, and I performed on stage with, with Jordan. Okay, was, but this was a radio show. No, this was a TV. This was TV. Yeah. All right, where did it, was it a podcast? Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I, I get, I'm sorry. Was it, it was a live show. Okay. Paid audience. It was, it, oh, it, it was Massasoit State College. Oh, okay, uh, the sure. Ultra. It wasn't a, a TV thing. That's right. Okay, but that's fine. But that's. I think it was one. probably filmed though by cable. I mean, you, you were working with some iconic Boston media people, and that's incredible. Yeah, no, that's, that was, that's that was awesome. a fun. But it was just unexpected. I was going there to watch the show. I always show. say everything happens for a reason, though. <laughs> yeah, no, that was... That was uh, it must have been awesome for you. Yeah, oh, that's, it was. It was June of... Uh, what year is it? What year is it now? Yeah, 19. 2019. You yeah, might, when was this? I think it was June of 17. I said last year. Okay, June, that's fine. Yeah, I know. The years go by fast. <laughs> Uh, and when you were in the Mickey Ward film, that was 10 years ago, 2009. Nine, that's because right. Because I remember I auditioned for that, too, and didn't get the part. Of course, what I'm doing now makes up for all of that. Yeah, it was August of 9. Okay, yeah. we I did my I did my uh, my audition on May 28th of 2009. Yeah. May 30th, it was well, a Saturday. Know, I was just on another Wahlberg thing, Wonderland and Rainham Park. Okay. I mean, Rainham Grant, you know what? I'll tell you one thing. If you're an extra ever with Mark Wahlberg, you can count on one thing. What? You eat the best he feeds his people the best food ever. Okay. Had, well, I'm a vegan, so I got to be careful. With lobster tails? No, I don't. I wouldn't touch a lobster. Ribeye? You have to be filet vegan. Filet No, I'm just telling oh, you I the, qu the scallops. Right. I mean, it was unbelievable. Okay. Yeah. I, oh, no, I know. I'm sure he feeds and takes his, well, takes good care of his people. I, yeah. know, I know he does. <laughs> I know. I, had, I actually interviewed the woman who what, would have been his sister in law and then who was going to marry his brother Arthur, and then the marriage, then the engagement broke off. Yeah. Back when, in 2013 on a, on a film set in Worcester. But it was, a, it was a premiere for a film that we were both in, and that, to this day it hasn't even shown yet. But all right, let's talk about you, your, your history as a young guy. Where did you grow up, and, and, what, and what did that lead to, basically? 
Um, and you're not old now. When I say young, I mean right. younger. No, I grew up in Braintree. Okay. Okay. Yep. And um, there is some relevance to what I'm going to say. Of course there is. That's um, why I ask questions like you this. You remember that commercial in 1978 that came out, the Ginsu knife? Yeah. 1978. Yep. The Ginsu knife you know, in Japan. <laughs> right. I would imitate that all the time. Okay. The point I'm even mentioning is this. I don't know why it didn't lodge into my mind to pursue that sort of thing. I would not discover this really until another... 30 years. Well, later. I realized you it, see, you, it was in your subconscious for a while that time. Because I was imitating all sorts of things sure. all the time, but it, I went into computers. Were you a kid in 78? You must have been. I was 18. You were, you were, I, was, yeah, yeah, I mean, I graduated you, I from you high school. You graduated in 78. That's right. All right, you're a year younger than me yeah. then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gee, my condolences. Oh, I feel. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm turning 60 <laughs> no, in a few months. I, again, you're, you're not far behind again, me. I'm, my, I'm loving again, I'm, I can't, I love getting older. No, no, I'm only giving you. Yeah, and I can tell you do too. Okay, because you're doing more stuff now than you ever done before. Well, yeah, exactly. Right. That's great. That's you know, awesome. Like, okay. So, anyway, I grew up in Braintree, right, and okay. uh, I'm, uh, well, I don't know if we want to go into personal life, but, you know. That's I mean, what, no, I mean, you don't, yeah, don't get too right, personal. Right, I want, right. I'm, I want to, I'm trying to focus on how what you, growing up, got you where you are now. Okay, well, I mean, I, you know, I don't know. I was in a few high school plays okay. and a few things like that, but um, really, everything just, 09 was like a, just. A, that just, was the year of change. Just change, yeah. Okay, 10 years ago. And now all this stuff is happening. Sure. You know, yeah, I know. And here I'm you are a, with I'm, my show. You know, I'm with New England actors. Yep. I barry, I got Bradley, great guy. Yep. Um, you know, Boston Casting, CP Castings, um, Plymouth Pack TV, right. Jordan Rich, home recording studio, personal projects. Tell me about how that. How was that? How long have you had your own personal home recording studio, and, and how's that going? It's wonderful. I built it in '11. Okay, so, well, that was a while ago, yeah. eight years ago. Right. Okay, and you got. I mean, you have people. You, do the people hire you out to make record, to record things, voiceovers for them and whatnot? Uh, no. Okay, how does it work then? It, what it does is I'm doing mostly personal fun things on it. I'm doing oh, shows I see. on it. However, that's one area I need to be kicked in the, in the butt, is that I should be auditioning. Audition. I get everything set. Auditioning other people? Audi no, auditioning for, uh, for, for audio books or for okay. commercials or whatever. Right. I okay. just don't. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully, and that's nobody's fault but my own. I, well, right. It's not a. It's not a matter of fault. It's a matter of you'll do it when you're ready, just like the Ginsu thing. <laughs> <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> right. In Japan, I know. You're right. The I, I remember that. Probably yeah, can't I remember write. Seventy-eight yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, what about? I mean, looking at you, I, I'm guessing you were athletic as a kid, as a high school. Did you play sports at all? Yeah. I, uh, Track and baseball. Track and baseball. Right. Yeah, you look like a baseball guy. Yeah, I was pitcher in high school. Cool. Even okay. though I. I'm not that tall, I'm only five, but I was as a freshman the same height, so I stopped growing, so I dropped out after 10th grade, because pitchers generally usually are tall. Well, you look like you, you, you could have been, you could have played for, the, for one of the major league teams. <laughs> well, you're too okay. kind. I did have the freshman record for strikeouts. Oh, cool. I had 46 and 21 innings. Wow, yes. 21 innings, not yeah. games. No, 21 innings. Wow, yeah. that's, that well, mean, that's, more than two, that's more than two an inning. Yeah. Yeah, was I was that for the guy that failed math six That times. was ninth grade, though. Right. I know. That's even, that's even more impressive because you did it at probably 14. Yeah. 14 would right. give or take if you were ninth grade. My height grade. wasn't as important because everybody else was the same height, but then they grew and I stayed the same. Did you do anything? Did you go to college? I did, well, I went to an, uh, an institute, an uh, associate's degree, got in data processing. Where? Blue what? Hills Technical oh, Institute, okay, that which is, is yeah. now Massasoit. Sure. Oh, not, that was then not Massasoit? <clears throat> no. Are you it's, oh, I know what you mean. It's, 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 the it's new, next it's, to the Blue Hills High the, School. Right. It's the, it's the, it's the campus in, in, in Randolph, right? Or, or Brain or Canton, correct? Randolph, bro, yeah. It's Randolph um, or Canton. Canton, it's Canton. yeah. But it's I right, just, yeah. It's right near Route 28 or Route 28 heading toward Milton. It's, right, it's kind of like right <clears> off of there. I know what you mean. I know exactly that, where it is. That education cost me $920 for two years, including books. Considering the, the, the cost of tuition, that's pretty darn cheap. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, considering I made probably at least three million off of it. You made how much off of it? Probably three. Million? Yeah, in IT. Computer you, science. You, you made three million dollars? Yeah. Wow. Why? Well, well, remember, I, I'm talking about 38 years. Still, 30, yeah. that's three, I don't, yeah. I don't I, I'd be lucky if I make that in my whole life. Yeah. If I, I'd be lucky if I make that. My three point is, times. it's not saying, well, look at me, I made three million. I made it off a $920 investment. Well, what so that. what? Yeah. That's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at. Well, you, well, you well, obviously today, a man with a golden touch. Today, no, no but today you have kids yeah. that get in all sorts of debt and they can't get a job commensurate with what they pay. That's them, but, you, but I'm talk, we're talking about you. And you've obviously, <coughs> you're, you're obviously have a way of making things happen. Mm -hmm. It may take time, but when you, you re, I mean, you're a guy that reaches pinnacles of success that you never saw coming. And then when you do, it's like, Wow, look at look what I've done. I never would have seen this. 
And so that, look, that, that says to me, and I'm sort of like that myself, what says to me about you is that ultimately you're going to say the same thing, you, you know, maybe three or four years from now, you're going to say, look what I did that I never saw coming. And it's just going to, it's just going to like escalate like you, like never before. Well, even if it doesn't succeed, the only failure is if you don't try something that, right. you're, that you're passionate about. Right, and you obviously are not, you know, you're not, that's not going to be your issue. You're, you know, you're, 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 bang, you're, bang, you're banging the drum every day. Yeah, just made up we'll that metaphor. Tell my good. wife that. She's nervous. Oh, talk about your family. You got a, new, you got a wife, you got kids? Uh, yeah, I've been married to my, uh, my wife, Patty, okay. since 86, so oh. that's what, 32 years. 30, 30, that's, all, that's over 32. That's 33. Yeah, it's 33 this year, right. Wow, congratulations. My, uh, my daughter, Andrea, is going to be 29 next month, and wow. my son, Matthew, is 26. Yeah. Great, great, that's wonderful. Yeah, so okay. Two beautiful children. Sure. Uh, you know, not sure. children anymore, but you know. Well, no, right, but uh, offsprings. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, no, they're no. still your children, I mean, even oh, if they're yeah, adults, yeah. obviously. <laughs> Are they into, uh, did they do anything in acting at all or like in the No, I got, in fact, I got Matthew into a movie. In other words, they called him and said, and he wouldn't go. Well, and well I, it's not for everybody. No, but I try to tell everybody that they should experience it. If you have a chance to experience it, as an extra, go. Well, I mean, I agree with you because I did it. I've, done, I've been an extra in two big films too, plus a bunch of indie films. So I know, I think it's great, but not, it's, again, it can't be for everybody. Yeah. Not everybody, you know, some people, Maybe a shy away from being in front of the camera. Who knows? I mean, now, aren't you and I in a movie coming up together? Joe Oliveira's uh, the Bi Midnight Butterflies. I'm not in that. I thought you were. I interviewed Joe on my show a couple of years right. ago. Right. I thought you were. I, I was in. I, a, I was in a bunch of films. I had lately. I've, I've been. I've done some stuff up up in Lowell with my my friend. He's like my counterpart, Bob McCarthy, up there. I've I've done films with um uh, with this guy named Chris Dry, who's a very very talented young man up from New Hampshire. Um, I've done, I did some uh, indie work with, uh, with, with, with uh, Matt Fisher, you may know who he is, uh, DJ Stand the Man, and some of the people that you may have worked with was in his film too, he, that was a major film. But I, but, but right now, I mean, I, I mean, I, this is my baby, my show, yeah. that's it, you know. I mean, I've been, I've, I've been lucky enough to have filmmakers on my show that have given me the opportunity to be in their films for ha having them on my show. And that to me was wonderful, so I, that was my... That was my opportunity that I took to be in, you know, these little f web series and, ex you know, small indie films because, of the, because I had them on my show. And they gave me their opportunity and, they, and I gave them theirs. As, they gave me, I gave them their opportunity to have, be on my show and they gave me my, their opportunity to be in their films, which was wonderful. But as of now, I'm, I'm just happy doing this because I do it every week and I get plenty of people that want to do it. So this is my baby right here. This is the show and just getting, you know, just reaching into everybody's, a book of stuff to find out what they're all about and interviewing them and you know and putting it all out there on the table basically. Yeah well and I, I can relate because the Venus and Mars show which I co-host right. we have we have creative people that come on either okay. authors or musicians uh, uh, actors or whatever. Now that I think of it I was in a film with Ann a couple of years ago a guy named John I, his name he had an Italian last name like John Castiglione he was friends with John the, the, uh, the big uh, the big film producer in, in Boston and I believe Ann was in the film too, and I get paid 50 bucks to go up to Bedford, New Hampshire and just lug a suitcase over a couple of steps <laughs> in a little strip mall, or a little, a little, it was a little office building. The only caveat was we had to be there at 7 a.m. on the morning of Sunday, September yeah. 25th, but it was worth it. You gotta love it though. You gotta love yeah. it, I know. All right, look, we're gonna take a little break now and look at some of your footage, and then we're gonna come back and talk, talk a little more. You, are you okay with that now? Yeah, it's okay. just the footage I want is just, I'm, I wanna be a host. Okay. I, this is a host reel that I'd like people to All see. All right, uh, so without further ado, we're going to look at Peter Needham's uh, little reel, and we'll be right back. Enjoy it, and bear with us. We'll be right back. You should be able to feel as a person that you can not admit weakness. I need help. You don't work for one or two companies anymore. It's not going to happen. The kid coming out of college today is going to probably work for 15 to 20 companies. They have a lot of what do you think? I'm a doorman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, none of that. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's gone. Now, I'm not talking about uh, table settings and etiquette. I'm talking about people interacting in society. Three aspects of our lives can be improved, but what always holds it back, though? Why is it always talk and no action? Mm. You know, People tell her, oh, you gotta have a you have to have the right attitude, you gotta be tough and all that. It's all about me. You're saying the bull actually woke up and walked away? Yeah, I yeah. knocked it out. Transcripts also, I mean, I don't know, billions of lines of information. It doesn't matter if you're female or male, it doesn't rely on gender. It it doesn't matter if you're 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 gay or straight. It doesn't matter if you're Muslim or Catholic or atheist. 
end my life because I only have two months to live. That's one thing. Yeah. But then they're afraid that somebody that's disabled yeah. might be made to feel like they're not worthy to live. Wow, that was incredible. Now, I want you to talk about that. How did that come to be? The what? The, the, we just watched the film. Oh, it's all, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I don't want to be a dramatic actor. Okay. I wanna, what I do want to be is either a uh, commercial pitch man. Okay. Or a show host or a news anchor. Okay. Okay. And, other than voiceover. Right. So anyway, I, I signed up with the Brock Agency. My Beverly Brock is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, um, how do I call that, uh, my agencies in North America. Okay, where are they Brock, located? North Carolina. Okay, my, my birth state. Got to be, oh, yeah. be a good thing. <laughs> my grandfather's from North Carolina. Cool, there you go. And um, she, she inspired me to get a head reel going. She says, you know, you got a lot of material to work for. And then okay. I had some, uh, Bradley from New York, uh, New England actor okay. saying, get this going. And, but, so anyway, I finally got it together. Yep. And uh, I uh, took it out of the footage of my Venus and Marshall because it was plenty of, you know. Oh, yeah, good stuff. And uh, so that's how I put it together. And I'm very happy that I did. And, uh, you know. All right, you're the host of that. And Ian's the co-host? Or do you like, we're, switch we're off? We're both co-hosts. You're both yeah. co-hosts. Yeah. Okay. So you're, it's, a team, it's a team thing between sure. you two. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, I, I, assume you, have you worked, I assume you've worked with her in some films too, right? Yes. Okay. I have an independent film where I was King right. Poseidon. Okay. <laughs> I, the witch? I, I, huh? you, she was the witch. I was a king. You were the witch? You, she was the witch. You were yeah, the who? Yeah, uh, King Poseidon. Oh, okay. That, that's pretty, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, the hair was a lot long, you know. <laughs> well, who, wrote, who wrote the script for that? That was um, uh, at... Uh, Adam Vera. Okay, I know Adam. He yeah. was, he was on my show a few years right. ago. Yeah, Very yeah, talented. Yeah, guy. right. He was the director, and he was also. Oh, you were the, was that with Ali Marshall too? Yes. Okay, I was in that too. You, so I've been like, so I've been well, in a bunch. Yeah, I forgot. I was forgot I was in that. So, but yeah, there's a little scene of me in there too. Yeah, I was. You know, I remember the day we shot it. It was Friday, August 28, 2015, in, the, in that. That park in near, near Lincoln, near Lincoln, between Lincoln and Providence, Rhode Island. Okay, so that, yeah, I wasn't down. You weren't that at that. Show. Scene, yeah, okay. right, right. So, um, and Allie was a guest on my show, too. Yeah, no, I keep in touch with her, too, and the, the director and all that. I went to the screening. Did you go to the, the premiere? I didn't see the... I don't think I went to the screening. I yep. did see the trailer, though, and I was conspicuous in it, so yeah. it was wonderful. Unfortunately, during the dancing scene, I ended up breaking a woman's toe. I, I, don't, I have two left feet when it comes so to... So you were in that dance? In that I was supposed to... I wanted to dance with this younger woman, and they gave me this older woman, and I didn't mean to do it, but she was wearing... Open-toed sandals, and like I said, I don't dance well. <laughs> no, I'm just except saying. when I'm except when I'm in a sporting event and I'm waiting in the long line at the restroom. Did ah, you, I couldn't use this. Did you really break a toe? Or you think you? Broke I, it? I broke a toenail. I didn't mean. Oh, toenail. To. Toenail. <laughs> Still, uh, that's painful. Yeah. I, no, no, no. I, 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 no, I get yeah. it. It was better than I. I didn't mean to break. I, I'm not a destructive person. It was an accident. She forgave me, I think. Yeah. Um, but it w I guess it would have been worse if it was the younger woman whose toe I broke. But I don't think I think the younger woman was wearing stilettos, so there's no way I could have. I, I could have probably. I probably would not have hurt her toe. She would have had a protective shield between my, my heel and her toe, <laughs> being, meaning the heel, the uh, the stiletto shoe that she had. All right. So you, what did you play? You were, you were that was a great film with Adam. Yeah, that was. Adam's. I had quite a few lines. I was okay. a principal p player in that. Okay. Uh, it took me three months to grow the hair and the beard, and I had to wear the beard for like eight, um, almost a year. Is that right? So how many how many times on set were you? Oh, several scenes. I mean, a, I mean, over over a year, to, over it took a year. Well, to do we that? started in May okay. shooting, and the of last 20, of 2015, the, right? Yeah, the last was either August or September. Okay, because I, I was in August, like I said, I was like, in August 28. Yeah, I had to grow it, and then afterwards. I forget why I kept it. Oh, I, because I wanted to do that spoof on the most inspire, inst interesting man in the world. Okay, but it didn't happen then. Okay, so and then I cut it off. All right. Well, let's see. Let's go on forward here. We're in, you know, we're in mid-February, 2019. What is the, what is the remainder of the? We're coming in the spring pretty soon. What are you doing? What are your projects coming up online now? I mean, on, you know, on the horizon, I should say. Well, I'm pulling together that most inspiring man shoot. Okay. I hope to market it to mothers against drunk driving and other people because it has relevance. Okay. It will be great, uh, real material. I have a curse of the Hockamock swamp creature. Uh, radio project that I'm doing with a couple of other people. We're into the special effects phase of that. Anything was there anything with Jordan Rich and, and Barry Nolan with that? No, no, no. That okay. was something else. Yeah, this is just something that I'm doing in my studio and also w incorporating. Um, we may make a film version of it. Um, th the Venus and Mars show, as we said, we continue right, that, to, to how develop. Many, how many? You do that once a week? 
No, 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 no. We do uh, twice a month. Twice a month, okay. Yeah, so we only have 14 episodes right now. Okay. Well, I'm closing in on my 400th Topic Time episode. Yeah, it's probably no, no, be no. Next I'm, week. I'm way behind. Yeah, we're not. We're, I know. You we're, just we're trying to do two. No, well, three years, but we're trying to do two a month. Okay. And I want to um, I want to talk to um, Boston Network Neighborhood Television because they are interested maybe in broadcasting our episodes in Boston as That's well. That's great. Yeah, I'd like to get that. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Now, what about other things you've done? Have you done anything with music? Have you written anything yourself? Uh, no. Nothing? I guess, yeah. Not, I mean, I've, I've done uh, some theater. Okay. And a couple of times, my hat's off to theater. You mean since high school? Yeah, I did. Okay. I did a, a, you know the Boston Tavern in West Bridgewater? Yes, I uh, do. No, the one in Middleborough. I did a murder mystery. I was a, a, a primary player in that, uh, Maurice. Were you, were you the killer? I was sus a suspect, you were a suspect, but I wasn't the killer. I want to give end. it away, but okay. But you know, I had 45 lines in front of people who would pay for that. And I'll, I'll just say one thing about theater. Uh, I don't want to do it ever again. I thought I did pretty good, but my hat's off to those who do it. You've got to be special. It takes right. a lot of, uh, you know, memorize a memorize lot of practice. Memorize in one, in one time, rehearsals. if you blow once, it, you, you don't get it back. Right. Yeah, you got to be careful. That's that, true. Right? That's yeah. absolutely so, right. And I was a non You know Paul Kandarian? Is it? I, I not only do I know him, he was a guest on my show and he wrote a Globe article about it. Yeah, okay, well, that's on because both he and I were co hosts in a production down in Marion okay. for three weeks. Uh, we were on stage narrators. parents had a house in Marion for four years. Yeah, it was a great, uh, great area. On stage narrators. Okay, cool. So that was good. But uh, um, other than that, no music, no writing, uh, you know. You ever think of maybe trying to write something? Just for, you know, well, wait a minute. I, take, I did write some things and I did produce them. I wrote some radio spots okay. for um, Linwood Cafe and Emma's Pub and Pizza, and I thought they came out really good. Oh, you wrote something from Emma's? Yeah, he's a big deal. Yeah, John I, Emma. I thought uh, Ron Emma. Ron, I, you I, think John, John, I mean Ron. Yeah. I mean Ron, yeah. sorry. I thought about bad. having him on my show. Yeah, he's, um, he's a character. Yeah, oh yeah. He's, he's, quite, a, he's, he's quite successful in his, yeah. in his industry. Yeah, I told him he should use me as, a, as a, uh, an actor because not only am I a professional. He absolutely should. But I'm a customer. Not, yeah, if he ever wants to be on my <laughs> show, I'd love to have him. Years ago, before we we're just about to wrap the show up. We're actually within the final five minutes. But Ron Emmer, I actually, years ago, before I found my true call, and I was trying to sell ad space, and I thought he was going to buy an ad for a calendar, and he never did. So I, pre I was pretty aggravated about that. But I have to f you got to forgive people for stuff like this if they don't think it's going to benefit them. So yeah, we, no, yeah, go ahead. So you got, we are, we're under like three minutes to go. In the, few, in the remaining few minutes, I want you to give shouts out to people that are going to see the show, because a lot of them are, and then we're going to wrap it up. So go ahead. Just condense them. Uh, yeah, well, Lauren, Mark, if you see, I know you live in Easton. If you see me, uh, I say hello, and I'll be seeing you shortly. And uh, my wife, Patty, love you. I don't know if you're going to see it. Um, but that's, I mean, other than that, I'm okay. not, not going to go through And I it. hope you had a good time with me. Oh, yeah, no. I, I, uh, I hope we covered the stuff that you wanted to what's cover. What's on this green screen, by the way? She's probably going to put some, <laughs> a weather scene. That, that's a good question. You, 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 look like, you may look like we're sitting out in the snow. So yeah. We've been doing that the last few weeks. But that's up to her. That's Kim's deal. We're gonna, well, whatever she does, it'll be beautiful. In any case, uh, I, what I'm going to ask that you do is you promote your, your appearance on my show. I'll have to get more guests. That's how I get word of mouth. That's how I get a lot of my guests. And, uh, and, um, and that's it. So you, I, I, I was really honored that you came and, and did my show tonight. Um, if you ever want to have me on your show with, with Leanne, that'd be fine. It's up to you guys. Oh, yeah. If you, think, I, if you think I'd fill the void. Oh, come on. We're all, yes, you do. Well, okay. Well, you, you, you let me know. In the meantime, we're going to wrap it up. Are you ready to jiggy with it again? Uh, yeah, I'll jig with okay. you. All right, folks. Thanks for watching another great episode of Topic Time. See you next time. Have a good one. Ha, ha, ha.